hello fellow gravity signers you welcome back to design and tech of youtube channel in this video i will showing you guys uh, how you can create a tone paper effect just like the one you've seen on the screen how uh, the trending tone paper event which i've been seeing a lot of people are asking about uh, how, how this can be created uh, so in this video i'll be revealing how this can be created but before diving into the video if you are a new viewer please kindly click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new and amazing videos and as for the returning viewers thank you i really appreciate so just like i said earlier i will, I will be Creating a video which will be explaining how you can create a distant paper effect on your images which you'll be using for your design. So let's dive into the video. So the first thing we'll be doing is to uh, go to our gallery to import uh, the image we'll be using. So let's uh, go to our gallery, you locate the folder where you have the image you want to use, and uh, then import the image into the Pexel lab. Let's increase the size of the image to the screen size. So looking at this, we've increased the size of the image to the screen size. And the background we'll be using is the transparent background. Let's put this on transparent background. After you've done this, the next thing you'll be doing is to go to your color filter. Select that image. Make sure the image is selected. Then go to color filter. Then uh, you can reduce the saturation of the image. Make sure the image at saturation of the image is reduced to uh, your preferred choice. So I'll be putting this on minus 100. Uh, I, the color is totally removed now. So the next thing I'll be doing is to save this uh, image. Uh, this no color image. No color image. I'll be saving it to my gallery. So we'll have to save this. Save it as PNG and uh, put it on Ultra. Save the image. So after saving the image to your gallery, you can uh, return uh, the you can return the color. You can change the color to uh, how it looks back. So just uh, click on this uh, icon here, then undo uh, the color. So the saturation returns back to the color to the normal color to the normal image color. So the saturation is back to its normal now. So the next thing we'll be doing is to go back to our gallery to input uh, the tone paper effect. So this is the thumb paper effect. You can see this is the thumb paper effect. Just make sure the thumb paper effect is placed uh, we, how you want it to be. Because once uh, we, this is done, you cannot tamper with it anymore. So just make sure you place uh, the thumb paper how you want it to look. So I will, put, I will be placing this thumb paper on the image now. So as you can see, I place it on it now. So the next thing I will be doing is to uh, make this uh, image, the image beneath, I will make it in invisible then save at this tone paper you save it just like we've saved the first image save it as png and save it as ultra after saving it i delete at this tone paper and make the image uh, visible uh return the image to visible again so the next thing we'll be doing is to import uh, the tone paper from the gallery then click on the tone paper the only thing you can do here is that you can only increase uh, the tone paper. You can only increase the relative size. Go to relative size when the tone paper is selected. Then you can just uh, increase it. Make sure to put it on 100 like I've done. The width and the length uh, and the height must be in 100. So like I've done it, you can see the uh, the uh, tone paper effect is on the image. So after you've increased the tone paper image, go to texture. Why the tone paper is selected? The, the tone paper effect, you can see it is selected. So you go to texture. Click on texture. Once you click on texture, you can see this gallery uh, icon. Click on the gallery icon. Then select uh, the image will reduce it as uh, saturation. You select the image. So looking at this, you can see the image is fitting in. The, the no color image is fitting in with uh, the color image. So you can just move down to your stroke to, in, uh, to, in, to enable the stroke effect. You can put the stroke effect anyhow you want it. But I prefer that putting it on a uh, one. I think that is a prevailably okay you can see just like let us put it on two like this so looking at this you can see this is how this tone paper effect which you've been seeing on the social media a lot of people has been asking how is this created how is this created so this is how the tone paper effect is being created please if you find this video helpful kindly like the video comment share and subscribe on the youtube channel for watching